I believe you felt the pull to elevate your energy and raise your vibration, seeking new dimensions of personal growth and awareness. Brace yourself, because there's a harsh truth that often goes unspoken. Keep watching, and you'll discover the unfiltered reality about raising your vibration, the side no one really talks about. So, you've set your sights on elevating your vibration. And let's not sugarcoat it. The road ahead can be a bit rocky. This journey isn't all smooth sailing. It's not just about feeling good vibes and positive energy all the time. As you climb that vibrational ladder, you might bump into some discomfort along the way. It's like going to the gym for your soul. You're putting in the work, breaking a bit of a spiritual sweat. But unlike physical exercise, this discomfort isn't always expected. As you elevate your vibration, the path ahead doesn't come with a GPS. You can't always predict what's around the corner, and this unpredictability can be a bit unnerving. Imagine walking through a foggy forest. You can't quite see where you're headed, but you're moving forward anyway. This discomfort isn't a flaw in the plan. It's a crucial element of the process. Now let's unravel a controversial layer in the realm of raising your vibration, the myth of perpetual bliss. Often, the narrative surrounding this journey paints a picture of continuous joy, eternal happiness, and an existence bathed in an unending positive glow. But let's be real, that's not the full story. Contrary to popular belief, the pursuit of a higher vibration doesn't mean you'll be skipping through fields of flowers every day. It's not a guaranteed ticket to a perpetually sunny disposition. The controversial truth is that life, even with an elevated vibe, comes with its share of storms, cloudy days, and moments of genuine struggle. Expecting constant bliss can set unrealistic standards, leading to frustration and disappointment. It's like anticipating a perpetual summer day, beautiful in theory, but not entirely reflective of the diverse seasons life throws at us. Raising your vibration isn't a shield against challenges. It's more like having an upgraded set of tools to navigate them. Embracing the ebb and flow of emotions, acknowledging the tough days, and understanding that growth often springs from discomfort. And that's the real deal. Raising your vibration aligns with existentialism, emphasizing individual responsibility and the idea that we shape our destinies through our choices. This philosophy underscores the power you hold to transform your internal frequencies. It's not just a rearrangement of emotions. It involves unearthing buried emotions, facing suppressed fears, and healing wounds that may have lingered within. Existentialism encourages taking responsibility for your emotional and mental states, actively choosing to elevate your consciousness. This interconnected dance of energy is reminiscent of a simple yet profound biblical parable. The parable of the mustard seed. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus compares the kingdom of heaven to a mustard seed, emphasizing that, though small, it grows into a large tree providing shelter for birds. This parable conveys the idea that even the smallest acts can have significant and far-reaching consequences. Similarly, as you engage in the process of elevating your vibrational frequency, you become like that mustard seed. Your seemingly small and personal efforts to address your emotions and heal your wounds set in motion a ripple effect that extends beyond your individual experience. Much like the mustard seed growing into a tree, your elevated energy becomes a source of positivity and inspiration for those around you. But raising your vibration is not a guarantee that life will transform into an idyllic dreamscape. In fact, quite the opposite may occur. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, responds to your elevated frequency by presenting challenges tailored to catalyze your growth. This is comparable to a cosmic exam, where each trial becomes an opportunity for you to demonstrate the lessons learned during your vibrational ascent. The journey of raising your vibration draws parallels with the ancient parable of the prodigal son. This story, transcending specific beliefs, symbolizes redemption and transformation. Just as the prodigal son's wayward choices led to challenges, your elevated frequency may encounter cosmic challenges. However, these challenges are not punishments, but opportunities for you to demonstrate the lessons learned during your spiritual ascent. In the crucible of transformation, Relationships may shift, careers may take unexpected turns, and the familiar may crumble to make way for the new. Not everyone in your life may resonate with your newfound vibrational frequency. As you rise, some connections may dissipate, leaving you to navigate the waters of change. The silver lining, however, 
lies in the shedding of old connections, creating space for new, harmonious relationships aligned with your elevated energy. As you elevate your vibration, a sobering truth emerges. Not everyone in your life may resonate with your newfound frequency. This can lead to moments of isolation, where the familiar landscapes of companionship transform into uncharted territories of solitude. The elevation of your energy may prompt shifts in relationships and careers, unsettling the foundations of your current reality. This shedding of old connections, although challenging, serves a greater purpose. It creates space for new, harmonious relationships that align with your elevated energy. While this may seem like loss on the surface, it's in reality a cosmic invitation to welcome greater alignment into your life. Many belief systems and spiritual practices, including Hinduism, emphasize the shedding of the old self as fundamental to personal growth and transformation. In Hinduism, the figure of Narada, a celestial sage, embodies the essence of traversing both the material and spiritual realms. Depicted as a wanderer between worlds, Narada carries divine messages, facilitating communication between gods and mortals. His tales emphasize the importance of detachment and devotion in the spiritual journey. Despite his celestial status, Narada's wanderings symbolize the experiences of those on a spiritual quest, facing challenges and moments of solitude. The solitude experienced in the elevation of your vibration is not a sentence of loneliness. Instead, it's an invitation to commune with the deepest recesses of your being. It's an opportunity to forge an unshakable connection with the divine source within. Much like Narada's role as a guide between worlds, solitude becomes a path less traveled, but one that encourages you to embrace it rather than fear it. As you journey towards higher vibrations, a profound recalibration of priorities takes place. Material pursuits, once the focal point of your aspirations, gradually lose their luster in comparison to the brilliance of inner peace and spiritual fulfillment. This shift challenges prevailing narratives of success in a world often obsessed with external achievements. The pursuit of external validation begins to lose its grip on your soul. The truth emerges that the essence of abundance in the realm of elevated vibrations is not confined to financial wealth or possessions. Instead, it manifests as a state of being, an overflowing cup of gratitude, a wealth of compassion, and a richness of love that spills over into every facet of your existence. This truth may clash with societal expectations, where success is often measured by external achievement. However, as you release the grip on materialism, you open yourself to a grander tapestry of abundance, a wealth that transcends the confines of traditional measures. This abundance is a state of internal richness, a realization that fulfillment comes from within, rather than external validation. One of the harshest truths encountered on the journey of raising your vibration is the profound confrontation with the ego. As your frequency elevates, the ego, a cunning companion, may resist the dissolution of its reign. It might stage a rebellion, triggering moments of self-doubt, arrogance, or a misplaced sense of superiority. Confronting the ego demands a humility born of self-awareness. It's an acknowledgement that in the grand fabric of existence, you are but a humble thread. The elevation of your vibration is not a badge of superiority, but a humble dance in harmony with the cosmic symphony. This dance is a transformative process known as ego death. Ego death is not a physical demise, but a shedding of the layers that cloak your authentic self. It's like peeling away the layers of an onion to reveal the core within. As you venture into the realms of self-discovery, ego death becomes the courageous act of letting go. Letting go of the masks, illusions, and stories that the ego has woven over time. This shedding of old skins allows the emergence of a more genuine, vulnerable self. It's akin to cleaning a dusty mirror, wiping away the smudges to see your reflection clearly. I'd like to thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, please consider clicking the subscribe. I will see you next time.